Hello, 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 folks. How are we doing today? How are we? Oh, my word, folks. We are here bright and early. Ethan redeeming the first. That's right, chat. There is now a channel points redemption if you're the first person here when the stream's live. If Ethan gets every single time, it will just be a sad affair. So please, someone take his crown away from him. Elsewhere, I've got to give a few, few thank yous. Timmy Buxton. Thank you for someone with the Prime 12 hours ago. Oh, dude, that was 10 a.m. I wasn't live then. And also, Freddy, thank you very much for the six months. I hope you're doing fantastic. Chat, how are we today? Red for Ferrari. I'll be honest, chat, red because it was just the first shirt that I picked up and threw on today. I dress myself, chat. I just... Yeah, does it, maybe, look, sometimes I have clothes planned out for the day, but most days, chat, I do just grab the first T-shirt like within reach, and that is what I'm wearing for the day. Is anyone else the same, or is that just me? Jack told the missus I had some intense, uh, intense, fast, dirty air action plan for tonight. She was not impressed when I loaded up your stream. Many people aren't impressed when I turn up, to be fair. Sorry, what does that even mean? No idea. Shall we move on? Chat, so many of you are here bright and early. Thank you for paying your taxes to G. I want to say a big shout out to Peter, who was here bright and early. CJ Chaos, MGS Cow, Jack361, Aqua, um... Archer, Archer Chit, I, I hope I said your name correctly. Uh, we have Kinurim. I've definitely said that wrong. Mad Dog, this is like a reading test for me. And TR Gaming, you guys were here, Brian Early. Thank you so much for hanging out as always. Get the G taxes paid. You know the deal by now. Get the G taxes paid. Right, shall we play some F1 Manager? Also, chat, I updated my stream deck so I can f***ing swear without f***ing worrying about the beep button just dis disconnecting and being really shit. so I can beep again without fear that everything breaks I think I've not fully tested it yet so if it all breaks you know what happened uh Rob Soul thank you very much for with the prime welcome aboard chat get some hype going in the chat let's get some love going in the chat I appreciate you guys massively and just as a little reminder there is still the Mick fund the Mick fund is still going The Mick Fund is still there. Get get your channel points in for Mick. You know the deal by now. Get get your get your money in for the god that is Mick. Right. 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 We're at Silverstone today. Did we get upgrades, chat? Did we upgrade the car? Did I did I install the underfloor? Did I did I put the underfloor in? I did put the end up. Is it good? No. Our car isn't very good, is it? Our car isn't very good. I don't want to say it too loudly. Is K-Mag doing okay, chat? Thank you for everyone who sent cards and flowers to K-Mag in his hospital bed. I've been assured he's fine after the Baku incident. He is, he is fine. He is fine. Don't you guys fret. Okay. 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 Right. So the car's updated. I need to develop some stuff. Chat, what should I be developing? Do we just go for floor again? Do we just... More floor? I feel like the floor's the thing to do, isn't it? Under floor. I'm all... Anyone else all about the floor? If you've been playing this game, what have you been putting your hours into? And please don't say you've been copying me, because that would be an error. I feel like the floor's just the thing that I always put stuff in. But it doesn't actually look like the floor makes that bigger a difference. Maybe we've upgraded the floor too much. Maybe I shouldn't do the floor anymore. Maybe I shouldn't do the floor anymore. I feel like I've got all the... Looking at those improvements, it's not that big of an improvement. What else do people upgrade? I just do the floor. I didn't... I want a chassis. What's a chassis? No idea. Do the ceiling. Hmm... Don't, don't mean there's, don't mean there's ceilings. Check your ranks versus the other teams. Uh, we we just did that, but we can, we can do it again. There's our ranks versus the other teams. Right, chat. How do we? Okay, our dirty air cornering is really good because our underfloor is good. Do we work on a low speed front nose? And then what is the best way to improve the top speed and acceleration? We ignore the cooling. Cooling doesn't exist. Just cover cooling with your hand over that bit of the screen, and it'll be fine. Side pods. People are big fans of the pods. We can develop three parts. We can develop three parts. 
People are side pod lovers, apparently. Right, let's do side pods. Also, I don't really know how to split up the hours. I feel like I like to put 20 and 1.8, and then I can have 1.5 and 22 in the other two things that I develop. It's like TV volumes, though. It has to be an even number. What kind of psycho leaves on point one? Yeah, is, there, is there anyone who goes crazy? Okay. Optimize for aerodynamics. Race performance. Race performance is good. Ruins the cooling. But do the, does the cooling even matter? That's my question for you. We could optimize for cooling. That's boring, isn't it? Race performance. Race performance. I'm thinking race performance. I like racing. Well, I like going motor racing. Um, how long? Thirty-seven days. What's in thirty-seven days? Uh, Belgium. Okay, so that will come in the break. We can actually take a few off this as well. I just realised we can develop more parts now, can't I? I can actually develop more stuff. V Dubs, I, I read your comment, mate. I read your comment. You you, you told me what I should be doing when, but in too much detail. Does the cooling matter, chat? That's my real question. Does does the cooling matter? I don't, I don't think so. I could I could be wrong. You know, I've been, I've been wrong before. Right, front wing. Hmm. Cooling? Even if I optimise for cooling, our cooling is still bad. What do we do with the cooling? Hey, MJ yourself. I'm doing really good, thank you, mate. I'm doing really, really good. Yeah, Perez has tried to murder Kevin twice for people who haven't been around for a while. That is the current beef on the grid. Max all the sliders. I don't like to max the sliders. It makes the game too easy. I like to be bound by the restriction of sticking to the presets. Does it make it more difficult? Yeah, it does. Optimizing for cooling is boring. Low speed performance? Mind you, we're going to loads of high-speed tracks. Hmm, chat, what would you go for? I'm thinking I'm thinking optimize for aero. I think. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? It's a bit boring. Hey Bruno, how are you doing? Uh, have you ever run out of engine parts? Then no, it doesn't matter. I mean we have before, but then yeah, you just buy more. I think we just ignore the cooling chat. Right, you know what? Get a front wing. 51 days. Did I do low speed cornering after all of that chat? Did I just ignore my own advice? I think I did. I think I did. We've literally got three high speed cornering course things. Cooling affects the fuel use. Hmm. I mean, we never run out of fuel here, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> right, um, I should do front wing. After all that, I've set up front wing and then I've clicked off it and now I'm going back to it. I'm really sorry. There's some people getting very annoyed at how I'm playing right now. I need to be decisive. If I just look like I know what I'm doing, people will just think I know what I'm doing. Fake it till you make it, folks. 51 days. Belgian Grand Prix is in at 57. Put four on it. That's fine. Do that. Chat, I've never run out of fuel ever. I don't know what any of you are talking about. These people are referencing some race that didn't happen. Fake news. Fake news. Teo and K-Mag crash incoming. I hope not. That would actually be disastrous. Uh, which really doesn't make a difference. I guess acceleration. Yeah, you know what? Oh, this is going to be done in 29 days, did that say? Could we get this in for Hungary or France? 23? If I rush it... Remember, no Russian. Unless you're rushing parts, in which case it's fine. You know what? Screw it. We'll rush a chassis. Because that pace boost might be useful in France. 
And then I think I have time for another upgrade. Should we just do a do a little one a little underfloor? What about the little underfloor upgrade chat? Um why is that making stuff worse? Are we bad? Why does why does this make everything worse? Sense that makes that we're not doing an underfloor. Cancel that. Cancel that. Uh, remember Becker's contract ran up. I think I'm going to terminate it, Brun, at the end of the year. I think he's done. You know what? Rear wing. Rear wing, chat. All about the rear wing. I probably could have put more hours in some other bits, but it doesn't matter. It kind of does matter, but we'll just pretend it doesn't. It's fine. Uh, it's 61 days. 41. I need this done for the races. Oh, I'll be done. It'll be done. Get it in. Get it in. I'll tell you what, chat, since we upgraded the design center, there's too much designing to do now. My brain hurts. I can't design multiple parts. It hurt. There's too much thinking. Too much thinking. I, I'm, I'm I wish there was just, you know, there was less stuff to think about in this game. Too much thinking. I don't have the brain power. Chat, today I am very tired. Can you tell? I'm not on it today. Do you ever have those days when you go into work and you know you're not having a good day? Do people know this feeling? Like, I'd have days where I went into my old job and in the office and you just know it's a slower day. It's a day where you're not running at full capacity. That is me on stream today. I've done a podcast today. I've recorded a transfer special for my Football Manager series today. Podcast goes out on Tuesday, though. I'll be tweeting out and stuff when it's all live. I'm not. We're not running at maximum capacity in Work the Space headquarters today. Hey, Chiefs Med, 28 months, 21 months, blah, 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 blah. 28 months later, still another Ferrari strategy error. Yeah, there'll be more of those, I think, for the next 28 months too. Isn't that every day? It might be. Might need some KFC. I might do. How was the pod with the FMT guys? Well, it, was it wasn't all the guys. It wasn't all the guys. It was just me and Tony. But it was a good time. Have you guys really hit a million on the Mick Schumacher f funding thing? I really should have upped the price of that. Scene change Jack to get in the middle. I'll do it when we get to the race. We're still not in the race yet. We're still we're still not there yet. Uh, qualifying position safe. Yeah, Q2. Yeah, we can do that. I think Silverstone. I don't know if I like Silverstone. Chat, do we want to get rid of Becker? I feel like... We could do better in a couple of these. Technical chief and race engineer. Hmm. Who's the best technical chief in the world? Uh, okay. Apparently none of them are available to sign. What about race engineers? Oh, it's because we're on race day. We're on race day. You can't sign other team staff on race day. The game doesn't let you. Which is, which is rubbish. I should be able to steal their best staff off the wall while they're trying to manage their team. That should be allowed. Channel point redemption to manually take all practice sessions. Absolutely not. We need to make sure we don't hit the, uh, hit the Mick goal until next season. So we get Mick back in the house. Oh, no, 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 no. Mick, 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 Mick will still have a drive in F1 after this year. I have faith. I have faith. But yeah, chat, chat. Today I am running on fumes. So forgive me if I'm not 100% speed today. And you might have seen in the title. I'm going to break heart today. We're just doing one race on stream today. I know. I know. Boo me. Boo me. But I, I am not. I'm, I'm tired. I'll be honest. I'm tired. I did think oh, I could just not do a stream. You know, I could just have a day off. You know, I probably am due one of those. But no, not today. Not today. I wanted to play some F1 manager, even though I'm tired. I know, boo-hoo, he's playing video games and he's crying about it. I know, I need to get a grip, chat. I'm sorry. But no, for real, I am tired. <laughs> okay. Hello, and thank Hello. you for joining us as our race weekend unfolds. I'm ready. Get a yogurt. I already had a yogurt. It didn't help. Alonso's quick... It <laughs> Chat, Alpine insane now. Do I need to panic? Do I need to panic about Alpine at Silverstone? 
I mean, we look like we're the fourth best car, so that's good. But that's a big... I've told the sponsors we're getting a top six quality position, which might not be simple. That might not be simple. Perfect timing. Just finished the VOD from yesterday. That was intentional. I planned it just for you, uh, Lister Lemming. Did I say Lister Lemming? Did, I did say it correctly. Good reading, Jack. Um, chat, do we want a prediction on the race today? Do we want a prediction? I don't know what we do the prediction on for quali. It's going to have to be a later quali prediction because I've already sent the guys out. What do you guys want? Chat, come up with an inventive prediction and Spurrite will set it up. Will Mick make Q2? Let's make it a realistic prediction, please. Let's make it a realistic prediction. It's one that has a chance. How about Will Russell out-qualify Alonso? Alonso versus Russell. I think that is a good one. Alonso qualified fastest, but Russell is Mr. Saturday. And, you know, practice versus the actual quality is a little bit different. And we should also make it through this session fine. We are coming up to a Perez who's not on a hot lap, though. That scares me. Sergio Perez is a loose cannon this year. He's taken out K-Mag twice in three races. Right, chat. Prediction is live. Who's going to finish higher in qualifying, Alonso or Russell? Please get out of the way, Sergio. He didn't get out of the way, did he? He didn't get out of the way. Okay, Russell got a clean pass, though. That's good. FP3 is on a Saturday, though. I mean, that is true. You're not wrong. You're technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. Poor Mick, chat. He's so bad. All right, how much time did Pichet lose to Russell? Lots. Russell should be fine with that lap. Pichet's going to have to go out again. The good news is Perez just got blocked by everyone. Also, Alonso's going for his hot lap with no one in front of him. This might be your first hint, chat, as to how quick Alonso actually is. What's this Alpine got in it? I mean, to be fair, you know, it's the first quality session. Stuff can change. But what is that? Is it running on rocket fuel? I think there's been a lock up. Is it running on rocket fuel? It must be. Okay. We're going to send out Bashir in a second because... We could have got it again after we got blocked. But Russell, Russell can chill. Russell should be fine. Alpina doping, I agree. Ocon's up in fifth as well. I'm a bit scared that Alonso could end up like topping quali. All right, Teo's good, chat. It wasn't really in doubt. He just got blocked on the first lap. Who are the top three teams in the championship right now? It's ourselves, Ferrari, and Red Bull. But Alpine have come to this weekend, and their car is insane. Ocon's third fastest. What is this? What is... What, what have they put in their car? I mean, I, I've commented recently on the fact that Alpine have looked pretty good this year. But Christ on a bendy bus. They've never looked this good. I don't know if we can compare the cars outside of quali. Uh, sorry, between quali and the race. That's one thing, actually, I dislike about this game that Football Manager does very well. If you're in a match in Football Manager, you can go really easily out of the engine, like out of the match engine, and go and check stuff. Like, if you see a player, you can quickly load up their stats and stuff. Like, in a race on this game, you can't, like, you know, go check a player's... a player, a driver's profile really quickly. I just saw your video about the worst double stack in history, and it's hilarious. It's painful. Painful memories, Jota. Painful memories. Did K-Mag go out completely? Oh, my word. Chat, K-Mag didn't make it out the first session. Oh, Ocon's going to block us. Uh, maybe he didn't block us. Those, those laps might be clean. Oh, Pichet's spun on his way back to the pits. No one look. Cover, cover, cover your eyes. Teo. It's a good job he'd done his lap. He's lost control and spun. Let's what happened? Now just focus on the hats. 
He did that on purpose to block the track so other people can't set laps. He ruined Ocon's lap chat. It was great. Smart move. Great driving by our boy. Look at Ocon's lap. Pathetic. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Right, we have to go on fresh tyres here, though. Hey, Lou boy. The season's going really good, mate. Thank you so much, by the way, for 39 months. Yeah, the season's going good. We are currently actually first in the constructors, but I think we've been aided a lot by Ferrari making lots and lots of mistakes like absolute idiots. Oh, we've had a spin. I don't know if I actually need to send the, send the cars back out here, but I think I have to just to be safe. Are any of the Alonso fans scared? Are any, are, any, are any of the Alonso backers a bit worried with their boy right now? 13th. He did get blocked. He's going to need a good lap. Mick blocked him, so it's Mick's fault, chat. Is that what you guys are saying? Of course, this is just Q2. So as long as you're in the top 10, you're fine for the next session. Russell, by the way, in third. Only two temps behind the Ferraris. That's not too bad. Alonso will top it again. Do you guys really believe that? I mean, he probably will, to be fair. Also, why am I watching the outlap? We don't need to see this. This is only Q2. It doesn't even matter. He's just got to get out of the session. Right. Last sector. Gasly, fifth fastest. That Alfa Romeo is not slow. They look pretty good at Canada. Oh my word, 3,000s in it at the top. Our drivers are right at the back here. How quick is Alonso about to go, do you reckon, chat? He's gone purple in every sector. Are you kidding me? What is in the Alpine? Oh, cons I have questions. Are they running like illegal parts? How? How? We're in danger. I'm sorry to anyone who thought we could out-qualify Alonso. I genuinely don't think we can do it on this speed. I mean, I know that we've, you saw they were quick in practice, but this is different gravy. Someone's saying new engines versus old ones. Ours are new, though. You can't actually look at this stuff because there's no lap history in quali. That's silly. Um, soft, soft. I'm scared. I am scared of Alpine. I don't know what they've done. Yeah, we're good. But they're fast. Alpine enjoying uh, uh, abusing the sliders. True. I don't know, chat, what to think in terms of Alpine's pace. I mean, whatever upgrades they're doing, I want to know what they're doing. Are they must be a new floor. Must be a new floor. He has 100% familiarity because he practiced. I mean, look, practice does not make a difference. Practice is a waste of time. I'm going to break everyone's hearts now. Matt Cole, mate, thank you for some with the prime. Thank you, dude. We're just really potato. Are we about to have a thing where people are on the track so other teams don't go out to set an actual lap? I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Alonso's keen as a beaver. He's out first. Alpine bought a G. That could be it. That could be it. Is he going quicker? He's going purples again. The man's on fire. Like, what's, what's happened? I mean, we're going green. 
he's literally gone fastest in both sectors on this run. On used softs. If he finishes on the front of the grid, I would not be surprised. They've never been this quick. Check their car. Check their car. This is not normal. Where's Ocon going to go? I mean... I, I don't know what to say. Can Leclerc dethrone him? No. Alonso started on pole at Silverstone, age 41. No. We're three years in the future. He's like 43. I don't... I think he's hacking chat. Admin. 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 Check his PC. Check his mouse. That is not normal. The grid is packed and right. Prediction time, chat. What do we do the prediction on? Will Alonso finish in the top two? I think should be the prediction. Thoughts. Or should a Will Alonso win? Is that too ambitious? I'm not sure. Marcy, thank you so much for subbing the Prime. Welcome aboard. Get, get the Vadukas going. Get the hype going. I think a podium's generous. I think he'll get the podium. I've, like, he's starting on pole chat. No one's been slower than him. I think top two. I, I say top two. I think a podium, I'd say yes. Top two, you start to doubt yourself a little bit more. You know, top two, that's a big scary number all of a sudden. Alonso will come sixth. Nah, he's too quick. Right, chat. Prediction is live. Da -da -da -da. Will Alonso finish top two? It's a bit of an mm-hmm one. It's one of those ones that makes you go, hmm. Like a Minecraft villager. Um, get your predictions in. Will Alonso get top two? He's been the fastest in quali and in practice. He looks rapid at this track. Alpine look very, very good. But do, do you think they can keep this pace going on Sunday? This is, like, I reckon there'll be more no's than yeses, but I feel like there's a pretty good chance he could get top two here. Chat, don't forget to donate to Mick, says Mork Soul. Correct. Chat, make sure to get your, your donations into Mick. Yeah, they weren't slow in back. I mean, they've been, to be fair, Alpine have been consistently getting, like, into Q3. But the fact that they have both their cars on the front two rows, we've never qualified as well as they just have. We've never done what they've done there. But yeah, they did look quick at Baku as well, to be fair. I think we go for a one-stopper here. I think medium hard to the play. If there's an early safety car, maybe we change it up. If you seriously want to change the title, why are you, why are you keeping Pacher? Because... If I had two good drivers, it would probably win it quite easily. And and it's nice having a, like a, a younger driver and a more experienced driver. I, I'm gonna uh, chat. I don't want to ruin the illusion here, but I'm gonna blow some minds for a moment. When, when I play football manager, when I play F1 manager, I don't always play it optimally. I, I could have signed Lando Norris and George Russell and played them together and probably won most races this year. Boring to watch. It's boring to play. And there's something rewarding about taking a driver from F2, giving him a seat, nurturing him as one of your own, forging him out of French steel into the greatest F1 driver of a generation. And that is the Pacher project in, in, in its concept. And that, my friends, is why Pacher is here. Could have nurtured Mick. No, 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 no. Let's not be ridiculous. You have... For something to be nurtured, it has to be good to begin with. Mick never had the potential for greatness. You know, he was never there. Bad potential. Bad current ability. Not my driver, chat. Teo, though. Teo. <sighs> something else. Sorry to the Mick fans. As ever, is electric. 
Hey, we're finishing the season today. You know what, Simon? Now that you mention it, the title that says let's do one race, yeah, let's just ignore that. Let's play the next 12 races, chat. 24-hour stream right now. Let's go. Let's just do 24 hours right now. No, that's not happening. Just to be not happening. Right. Brashear's directly behind Russell. The two Alpines on the left here as well. Get the outside line. Is Alonso still in the lead? Alonso's down to second, chat. Ocon's right up his chuff. He did a good job. Russell's ahead of uh, the Red Bull. Go, Teo, go. This corner is awful in game, by the way. If I go to the back of the grid in a second, this corner here, look at this. Still a lot to play for. <laughs> the cars don't go too wide got... through it. Okay, Perez got back ahead of Russell. But Pacher got past Verstappen. Do drivers ever regress? They don't get worse in game, but their development will slow to a, almost a complete halt. My little sister has a problem with her phone. Whenever she presses any icon, it'll read it aloud. I mean, that sounds like she's turned on an accessibility option that can probably be turned off in the settings. Verstappen is already 1.7 seconds behind Pacher. This front pack are vanishing. And I'm all for it. Teo, mate, you just chill behind. Let George do his magic. You can just relax. Do crashes ever happen on the first lap? I've had red flags on the first lap. Yeah, you often get into the first lap. There probably should be a bit more contact that doesn't result in crashes on the first lap. Oh, Te uh, not Teo, George. Up, up the inside, George? He's thought about it. He's thinking about it. Oh, George. George, push him. Push him real good. Has he actually made that work? Squeeze him, George. Squeeze him. Love it. Oh, now we have a run in. Now, Teo, attack. Tree like he's a Pokemon. Teo, you sand attack. Chat, what would be the most effective Pokemon move for a, for a F1 car to use? Use energy. I'm sat thinking double team would be pretty effective for defending. You know? Like, clone yourself a load of times, and then the other driver has to gamble on whether or not it's actually your car or a clone they're about to drive through. Save that might fuel. be meta-defining. Flamethrower? Teleport. Yeah, now you mentioned it. Teleport probably would be pretty overpowered. U-turn for K-Mag. <laughs> Dig? Dig could be quite good. Double edged equivalent to locking up and taking out a car in front of you. True. Harden. I mean, if you used Harden, then you could just hit other cars. That's true. Hypnosis. <laughs> just put other drivers to sleep. That's probably quite strong, I feel like, in the, uh, the Pokemon F1 meta. All right, George is keeping up with the Alpines, but Sainz is now 1.6 seconds behind Russell. The gaps are emerging. Payday if you win the race. Belly drum. Muddy water could be quite good. Chat, this is going out. This is. I feel like we've taken this too far, but I'm all for it. Extreme speed. Williams need to use Trick Room. Good reference. Pokemon fans know half this stuff. Other people just don't know what's being referenced. Alonso's taken the pissing lead. Alonso's in the lead. Rain Dance? Rain Dance could be good. Sunny Day? <laughs> if you're on the right tyre. You can tell the people who never played Pokemon because they just write stuff like kill and slow and sleep. They are not Pokemon attacks. There is not a Pokemon attack called kill. I mean, it'd be probably, I think there is, but it was banned in the meta. 
It got a bit too strong just having the command to kill the other Pokemon. Kill is my favorite attack. Attack <laughs> to a huge kill. Oh, God. I feel like kill would be a bit meta-defining, you know? Yeah, to be fair, there is, like, guillotine. And the other one-shot... And horn drill. The other one-shot kill moves. But they're not kill. But share should be ditto so he could morph into a good tri driver. I'll tell you what. Mix an Im a ditto with the special ability imposter. Because he's a terrible driver. No, I went I went for I went for Mick there, chat. Don't try and stop me. I'm not taking anything back. I'm not taking anything back. You can't make me. Right, Russell's gonna harvest, Bashir's gonna harvest. Alonso is winning the race right now. No saving required. Yeah, Alonso is winning the British Grand Prix. Well, leading. He's not won it yet. This is a cursed timeline. He didn't mean it, chat. He's just sleep deprived. Oh, Bashir got overtaken by Verstappen. Sag. Chat, I am sleep deprived. That's definitely it. How did Alonso get pole? Alpina doping. I don't actually know how Alpina so fast. But they're cheating. It's the only logical explanation. The current prediction is on can Alonso win the race? The fact that both Alpines are this fast is concerning me. I want to look at their car after this race and find out what their strengths are that have made them so good here. Norris is, what, 1.4 behind, along with the Alfa Romeo's. Where's Hamilton? Oh, my word. Hamilton is stuck in a train that is led by Bottas, which Magnussen is stuck in. Oh, no. Ocon's up to... Ocon is up to second. What is happening here? The Alpines are going to get a 1-2. Have I, like, joined someone else's online game by mistake? Is someone else managing Alpine? Like, what is this? They've never been this quick. I mean, the only thing that can mess them up now is if they do a two-stopper. Which does happen. If you need it. Does anyone else think it'd be interesting if they did, like, some regulation votes in this game that impacted the hardness of tyres? It's like in real life, obviously, you have, like, the C1 to C5 tyres. Imagine if there was some kind of regulation vote that, like, changed it so the softest tyres were softer and the hardest tyres were less hard. So you had, like, three stoppers occasionally. It'd probably completely balk the balance of the entire game and the AI wouldn't know what to do on the different tyres. But it'd be very fun. Doing a good job, that's going to help you. It's in real life, tyres compounds change all the time in terms of performance. Take there. What's just happened? Russell's Russell's just made three moves on one straight. Okay, good job. Okay. Okay, um, we're just gonna chill now. Safe How did he do this? What did that did Alpine tell their drivers to swap positions or something? Because they completely slowed each other down. Three wide through there, okay. Okay. Alonso's in third chat. Do you reckon they tried to swap their drivers there? Or was that just Alonso being potato? Because the way in which they moved was kind of weird. Like, it, was, it looked like what happens when you tell your drivers to swap. Did you get an extra a vote for an extra gearbox and engine per year? Yeah, I didn't. I feel like having more votes right, just in general, would be quite good. Like, having a vote for, um, like, tyre compound changes could be interesting. The AI wouldn't be able to deal with it, I don't think. It would be pretty interesting. I think Russell is addicted to clean air. True, he can't do anything in dirty air. Fastest lap of the race, by the way. 
I could get Russell to back up the Alpines so that Pacher and this group catch up. But it's probably in our interest to have Verstappen two seconds behind. Should we let Teo have a go? Alonso can make a move. Why couldn't Te why can't Teo make a move? Oh, he overtook us with DRS. Ocon's in the lead. Oh my word. Teo. Teo, he's got Perez. Perez was oh, has he got Perez? He needs clean air, chat. Get him the clean air he needs. He needs clean I can I need clean air. I can't do anything. He's fine. We need to lift off. Lift off. Right. We get him on this next straight. I've seen the future. And what do I see? Robots going crazy for the galaxy. They're soft and squishy, etc. That's a song in Ratchet and Clank 3. That's a very nerdy niche reference. No one knows that. Chat, if you know the artist from Ratchet and Clank who sings that song that I just vaguely quoted, write it in the chat and know that if you're correct, you are you are a real one. Oh, Scrab Scrabble is a real real one. There you go. Scrabble FF. There you go. Someone got the reference. I'm very happy. If no one had got the reference, that would have made me sad. Good boss fight in Ratchet and Clank 3 as well. Uh, this is the first race today, Pedro, but we're only doing one race today just because I'm quite tired. I had a busy day chat. Like recorded a podcast, the Football Manager Fairy P uh, therapy podcast which is coming out next week i believe the one that we did today um i've recorded the next atalanta episode for monday and i've had all kinds of other little bits going on today to sort like do you ever i said earlier like I've, I've i've got that mood as i've sat down to stream where i'm just so tired that i know i'm not at it today Pacher wants to get this move done. He is sniffing all around this Ferrari. He is sniffing the arse of Carlos Sainz right here. Oh my word, he's going side by side. That is not. A, that's not a place to go side by side. More charge. Oh, Russell's back in the lead. Oh my god, look how close they all are, chat. This is a proper race at the front. We'll watch from Leclerc because Leclerc's got a good view. They've all got arse on, on us, though. We have no arse. Chat, there is no arse on available for George right now. I'm not sure he can defend without arse. Am I crazy if I buy a Game Boy Color just so I can play Pokemon again? Yes. Emulation is your friend. Get get something with a backlit display. I picked up... So I played through the... The kind of Ratchet and Clank reboot game that went with the movie. And then I picked up... Is it... Was it a Rift in Time? I've not finished it. I need to go... I need to go back and play that game. I love Ratchet and Clank games as well. I just... I put it down one day and never picked it back up. Did I miss a hydrate? Oh, I did. Apologies. NJ Stalin, dude. My mistake. Chat, make sure to be paying your taxes to G, by the way. Make, make sure the G taxes are being paid Still a lot to, play for. To, our, to our leader. Just advanced. Pacher's still stuck in this spot, but it's not bad. We've got the battery charged, I guess. Thank you to the to the taxpayers right there. How's Mick doing? Mick is so bad, chat. He's four seconds behind Sonoda. If I speak, I'm in trouble. Tao, have a go here. Have a go out this next corner. What the... What are you doing? Sergio Perez is cheating. Did you see that? Did you see that? Get VAR out. 
Get V A get V A R out right now. Everyone is on the mediums except Mick. For, no, that's a that sass sunshine. Alonso's back in the top two chat. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Alonso back in the top two. Pacher got squeezed so hard though. We lost so much time. He's now got to try and catch up. Let's keep going. How many people chat? What's the channel points app for the Mick Fund? How many points I could put them on Mick? It's at 1.2 mil. I definitely should have put it higher than 3 million. 3 million was a bad guesstimate for what I needed to put it on. Just think, chat, if you hadn't all chipped your points in for Mick, you could have retired both cars. Chat, imagine if Russell finishes second ahead of Alonso. Watching Mick is like retiring. True. True, to be fair. Signs is 3.5 seconds behind this pack. The Alpine is so fast. It's actually crazy. Kind of want us to harvest on our cars here. Will I be allowed to check my cars during Mick cam race? No, I have to do it all whilst watching Mick. I can watch highlights of our cars, but I will only be watching Mick and using the radar. I can't wait for that race chat. I hope it's not an important one, otherwise that will be a problem. I mean, Pacher in eighth is fine. Right, he's building up a gap to Norris. He's vibing. All we need is a red flag. I wonder what the patch is going to be like next week, chat. Assuming the patch is still on course for next week. What happens if Mick crashes lap one? I haven't thought about that, but I feel like if that happens, chat, that is, you know, terms and conditions. If Mick crashes race one, I have spectated him for his entire race. It's not my fault that he then went out the race. IMO. Like at that point, it's not really on me. You've only got Mick to blame. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a Leclerc break. getting Russell there is not good. I've now got to push. Maybe they'll buff Mick in the patch. <laughs> Spend the rest of the race looking at the crash car. You can't do that, actually. I think it's almost a shame you can't go to the crash car perspective when the crashes have happened. Alpine just look too fast. They are rapid. Just got a hair Alpine 1 2. I wish I knew. I've turned up to Silverstone and they've got the best car. I was told by Reddit that the AI never upgrade their cars. That That is not true. <laughs> Race. Alpine just bought monster upgrades, apparently. As long as we're within DRS, it's fine, and we are. Uh, okay, Pacher is in DRS there. It was a bit close, I'll be honest. Oh, wait, no, he wasn't in DRS. Ah, that was the. I thought that was the, the activation line, but it's actually the detection line. Push, Teo, push. He's definitely within a second now, right? Right? It's only Rick's four seconds behind Pacher. So Pacher's creating a nice little margin. The Alpines are proper motor racing right now. 
If Oka wants to take out Alonso, I won't complain. I won't. Oh, go on, Esteban. Have a go. Oh, Fernando. Oh, I thought that luckily I was about to just take him out. Ocon's back in the lead. Georgie Russell's lurking behind. This front four, though, are pulling away. The Alpines are faster than Verstappen is. It's kind of crazy. Russell's just set a new fastest lap of a 129.9 behind this group, whereas the Red Bulls and a co, like a second slower. This front pack are going about a second a lap faster. This is wild. Should we have a go with Bashir here? He's right up behind. Have a go, Teo. Have a go. You've got the dirty air corner in. You're a dirty, dirty little driver in the air. What does that even mean? I had a dream chat the other night. You know you get those golf walls. Like it's a digital golf game where you hit the like the golf ball against like the, the bed sheet of a projector. It's not actually a bed sheet, but you know what I mean. I had a dream that I got one of them at home. I don't know how much do they cost? Because I feel like that would be quite fun to have. I've not really got the space for one. I'm sure there are probably streamers who just stream themselves playing digital golf all day. I just, I just think it'd be very fun. Oh my word, is, is everyone about to get past the same Ferrari? 15000 to $20,000, that's a lot, isn't it, chat? Do you reckon I can get a brand deal? I'll just, I'll stream from it. I will lock myself in a room with it and not leave until I get a hole in one on a par three. That's probably an awful promise to make, considering I am not a good golfer. You've installed a couple of nice ones. They're super fun. See, I kind of want to do it. But I also don't want to spend $15,000 on a golf sim setup. It's a bit dear, isn't it, for for like an, an idea that I've had off the back of dreaming about it. I've like not regularly played golf in seven years. So, so I asked, what's your handicap? No idea at this moment in time. I was never good at golf. But I got around in under 100, we're celebrating chat with beers. That's my standards. Under a ton and I'm happy. Might as well buy golf clubs and play IRL. Yeah, but I can't stream myself doing that. Whereas in the dream, I was streaming myself playing the virtual golf. Which is a lot more practical to stream. Lando streams are playing golf. Yeah, but you have to have like a proper backpack and stuff. And I'm not streaming myself during the winter playing golf. I am not Lando Norris. I can't just fuck off to Dubai and play on a golf course in the sun in the winter. I can't chat. People overestimate how good 4G is in most places in England, I think. Sorry, I forgot to be... Sorry, I'm f***ing sorry. I'm really f***ing sorry both our drivers are at the back of trains of four just chilling just took a one two with Williams in my second season 88 hours of wind tunnel time that'd be nice I'd like that collab with Lando Look, if Lando Norris wants to call me like, I think my quadrant invite got lost in the mail, to be fair, chat. But, you know, if they want to send me a quadrant hoodie, I'll fully sell out every stream. I will create a Lando Norris Stan Instagram account and TikTok account. So on that near and no, I, I will sell out for quadrant merch, chat, just so you know. Leclerc's pitting here. Are they going for the two-stopper? 
That's bold. If they are, that is a bit mad. We're going for a one-stop around that 24. Work the Lando, genius chat. You know what? Some of you guys really are geniuses with your usage of the English language. <laughs> How do you make strats? Just use defaults. I don't know what you mean, Keegan, but... Uh, the defaults are usually not bad, but you can easily customise them yourself to do other stuff. Room in your flat for a shrine to G and Lando. I'll tell you what, I would buy a G and give it to Lando as a present. One day. That's my promise. And let's be honest, he is definitely the kind of bloke who needs an eco-friendly lighter. Imagine the good PR around having an eco-friendly lighter. Welcome to Leclerc, he pitted. Do drivers get punches? I've not seen any random punches, but if a driver hits a wall hard or, like, has an awkward collision, they can get punches, yeah. Can we watch the G video again? Too much G is bad for your chat. Like, you c one doesn't want to overdose too much on G. Chat, if Alonso's going for a two-stopper, you guys might be in trouble. Depends on how good the actual race pace is of the Alpine chat. They might be two-stopping. Uh-oh. Sir Ricky Lambert, thank you for summoning with the Prime. Welcome aboard. Can we see the one where they play with a cat? Not tonight, not tonight. Alonso still should come out way clear of Leclerc in the pit, so though Leclerc is down at the back. Where is Alonso going to come out, chat? Oh, God, he's next to Kevin Magnussen. He's come out ahead of K-Mag. Did they go hards? They did go hards. I don't think you could run hards to the end. You probably could... But I think it's much more likely they're running a two-stopper. But to be honest, with Alpine's pace, the two-stopper might work. Although, they've not got DRS. And Kevin Magnussen does have DRS. You're doing a good job. Keep pushing. Go on, Kevin! We're about to get dropped here out of DRS range. Push, 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 Sadness. I need to keep up with Ocon. Ocon might go for a one-stopper here. His tire management in-game is mad. Amrose, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, gang, happy Friday. Get the hype in the chat. Oh, Perez is pitting now as well. So that's going to leave Pesher and Signs and Russell and Ocon running their own little races. Alonso hasn't been passed by Kevin. I'll oh, chat. There's a train here, though. This train might last five laps. He might have to get through this traffic. Bob from accounts, mate. Bob, love you from the accounts team. Thank you very much, sir, with the prime. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Chat, we are almost at 1,500 subs on Twitch. That is actually madness. You guys have actually done a madness. It's now at 1,475. That number, just to put some context into this, the number of people we had subscribed to the channel before this game came out, before I'd ever streamed this game, was like 500. There's like a thousand people who have appeared. I mean, there's like over a thousand of you here now, so I guess you're here now as well as just appearing in general. Genuinely, it is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, the support we've had recently, I don't know how to put it into words. Like, the game's been out a little while, right? Obviously, big patch next week's going to be exciting. You, you guys are something else. Oh, so everyone's paying money to watch Mick for the entire race. So many channel points. So many channel points right now I can see. I know you say you earn more from YouTube, but how much do those subs contribute? A sub? Well, it varies a little bit, but a sub is worth... It depends, right? Because they change the prices of subs. It's worth around two, two and a half dollars. So it, it's not in, an insignificant amount of money. Like previously, streaming was something I did alongside YouTube, but YouTube was always their priority. Right now, with how streaming's going, I'm trying to give as much time to streaming as YouTube. Because it, the support's been mad. 
Maverick LCFC, mate. Thank you for some of the tier one. And Andy Sully as well. Oh, my God. Can we take the lead of the race to really get the hype going? Do I push him? I shouldn't push him. I'm going to push him. Go on. Go on, George. Get him. Come on. Get him. We can't okay. get him. We can't get him. Never mind. Every, everything back down. Everything back down. Turn it all back down. Hey, here's Sifi. I appreciate the kind words. 525 until we get Mick back in Hass. That was by the end of this week, though. So, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't want you know, to say it can't happen, but it feels unlikely. Russell's actually going to have a go here with DRS. Nah. Okay, he got squeezed off, but DRS will keep him up to speed. How's Alonso doing? Man, he is getting shafted by the traffic, although Leclerc... Oh my god, there's... The Perez and Verstappen are five seconds behind Leclerc and Alonso. But Alonso needs to get through this train somehow. And he is struggling. Are you looking forward to the new big update that will come? I'm hoping it's going to be like a significant update, but I'm also wary of the fact that it's probably going to be lots of little improvements to get tyre wear exactly where it needs to be. But I'm excited for it for sure. Look at that train chat. That is madness. 7th to 13th. Just in a train. Okay. Perez has managed to get past the Aston Martin. Vettel's still... Uh, Vettel. Verstappen's still stuck behind. Sainz is right behind Pusher. I kind of want to go on a harvest here. Like Sainz by... And then benefit off that. We can start conserving, I think, on Russell as well. Need to fix the DRS trains. The thing is, the DRS trains aren't caused by DRS being too good. The DRS trains are a byproduct of the fact the tyres performance differences between the different compounds and the different wares isn't significant enough. I think most of the DRS problems will be solved by the, uh, the changes to tyres. Because in real life, all these guys on the hard tyres that are pitted and are fresher would be going quicker than the medium guys once they're up to speed and make it through the traffic, whereas right now they just can't do it because the performance difference between the tyres isn't significant enough. Pass with an overtake there. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. I don't, I don't agree, Jimmy, that DRS is overpowered. I, I, I don't. Right now, there is about one-tenth different between every tyre compound when there should be a whole second between the hardest and softest. Like, that will make a significant difference if they can get that right to the strength of DRS. Stay cool, man. You've done a good job. I, I've... Uh, LMK, I, I've played around with the mod stuff that the modders have been doing. The DRS as it works right now is... It's fine. Like, it's strong in real life. Okay. Well, if we just trail behind these guys, I'm kind of okay with that. But we might be out of DRS range on signs here because of the squeeze that you gave us. I'm going to have to push. Oh, that's what you were saying, Jimmy. Apologies. I thought you were saying to the contrary. I got to pit one driver earlier than the others. Uh, I think... Hmm. I mean, as long as we have DRS behind the Ferrari and the Red Bull... Uh, and the Alpine. I'm so used to saying Red Bull. As long as we have DRS, I think we just hang behind them. Yeah, I agree, Wolfwood. I'm hoping that they get the things to throw with the patch. And yeah, I, I agree with that as well, Isaac. Like, the the dirty air in this game, like, I feel like they've gone too overpoured with how strong underfloors are. Obviously, that, the underfloors in the number stuff help with the ground effect for trailing weight, like, in dirty air. But in general, you can just stay too... It's also how long you can stay behind cars without having issues, like, right behind them.
Alonso two stops. I think he has to. I think he has been shafted by getting peered into the traffic. It's weird how the faster teams... So Alpine, Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen have two stopped. No one else is two stopping. So my question is for the AI programmers, what made the Alpine, Ferrari and both Red Bulls decide we should two stop versus the one stop? Because clearly the AI didn't universally think that it was the better strategy. I might double, does it not show their speed? Uh, it doesn't show the actual speeds on this screen, but you can see it here on this panel. But obviously the actual speed isn't as important, really. Okay, I am going to pit for share this lap. I'm going to keep George out one more. Energy's good. Cover it. Everyone is now pitting on the one-stopper. A lap sooner than we are, which is interesting. We are here to push. It'll be interesting to see where we come out in relation to signs. People use Monza as, look, there are IRL DRS trains, but that's a specific track with low wings and weak DRS difference. Most tracks don't hold within a second all the time. I'm, I don't think there's anyone saying that there are DRS trains like there are in-game all the time, Gozzi. But you saw it at Spa as well. Like, the notion that DRS trains don't exist is also a bit silly. Like, there, there is a middle ground. Okay, it's time for Russell to push. He's going to pit this lap. Push. I'm going to try and overcut Ocon. Yeah, which hopefully after the patch wouldn't be a thing I can go for here. And I'd be encouraged to go for the undercut. But right now, Copy. because these tyres, even at 41% where I have a lot of performance, she's telling George to push almost, almost is the better strategy. The drivers stay retired once they retire. They do stay retired. Hey, Marzi, I appreciate the kind words. I try to bring a degree of seriousness and comedy to these streams, right? Like, I talk about this a lot, chat. I never play games to play them optimally, at least not single-player games. Like, for me, this is it's about telling a story and having some fun with it. Like, anyone can cheese this game in its current form. Like, you just can. And that's, like, that's okay if you want to play that way. But it's fun when stuff goes wrong. Uh, if there's a serious change in tyre performance, do you think we'll get a new graph that shows tyre difference versus fuel loss speed gain? I think we probably won't see any new graphs, but I'd like when they add, when they put out the patch for there to be some kind of before and after graphs that were shown of tyre deg and performance versus everything else. Okay, Russell's in the pits. Where's he going to come out? Pacher lost. Did Pacher lose time on signs? We did. That's not very good. We actually lost time. Push, 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 push. Russell's just set a fastest lap going into the pit. At Silverstone, there's some weird stuff that goes on with the start-finish line and how it relates to the pits. They need to fix it. Uh, so what few things have I not done during this save? Um, slide all the sliders to the right in part development, Ben. You can basically develop a really broken... Well, over a few seasons, if you just drag everything to the right, the trade-off in terms of price increase and time doesn't actually impact... Well, to the degree it should, how long it takes. Like, So you pay more and it takes longer, but the actual performance gains outweigh the, the cost of time and money. Um, there's other stuff as well like to do with just spamming research from the off and also just having the best drivers all the time keep this approach good job so far but I, could, I could get in Lando Norris and Russell and they'd probably both do very well 
But the reality is, like, the number one drivers from those two teams would have both joined Haas. Uh, would I say I'm playing more naturally? I, play, I mean, I play optimally in some senses, but I don't know if I'm playing more naturally. I'm just kind of... I, I have some arbitrary self-imposed things which I think make the game better. What's the better response to this race? Top six, I want to say? I can't remember. I think it's top six. Alonso's up to second, but he's going to have to pit again. Also, Pichet's just set a fastest lap. Same I hope in the patch as well we see the AI be more aggressive on its driver strategies. That would be a really, really good change. Right now, the AI is not aggressive enough at the start of races. Is that a new race position for Haas? Pichet's managed to get past Sainz, and so is Verstappen. I didn't even realise that. Did, I guess Sainz got squeezed out going into that DRS zone. Uh, thinking again, this game, what's my overall opinion? Uh, my opinion on this game is, if you're looking for the most hardcore F1 simulator in the world that has no bugs and is 100% accurate representation and you want to sit there with data sheets, analyze entire compound deck and the exact time at which drivers come out, you're going to be disappointed by the depth of the simulation. If you're an F1 fan who is looking for something that's going to be a bit of fun, you can hold your suspension of disbelief a little bit when bugs happen with regards to cars getting out the way. And you can tolerate the tyre compound difference has not been severe enough, at least until next week when the next patch comes out. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Alonso's now in third. I mean, he's, they're not a million miles away from Russell. I need to save fuel. I need to save fuel, save chat. Fuel. Yeah. Just got here. Have we run out of fuel yet? Let's not mention the fuel. We don't talk about the fuel situation. We never run out of fuel. Will I keep playing after the patch? Do you expect it to work for old saves? I think they've already confirmed that all patches will be save game compatible. I could be mistaken there. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is a thing. Because when the last patch went out and made some changes, they applied to old save games. But uh, we'll see. Like with this save game, I think we've got a few years left in it yet. At the moment, obviously, we're, we've not even won a, a Constructors Championship yet. I kind of want to try and get Teo to win the Drivers' Championship, but that's got to be the end goal. One thing I do worry about is how much the game's long-term playability is there, especially with the same 10 teams over and over again. I think in future years, we'll get the lower, like, F2 and F3 classes to be able to manage in. I feel like that might be a thing, but in some ways, I think actually the fact there's fewer teams and fewer drivers adds to its strengths. Which might sound a little bit bizarre, but like you have a bit more of an intimate relationship with your save games because you're tracking so much more. And if the average race weekend takes you an hour, an hour and a half, and you play three seasons, like you've got 40 plus hours out of the game then. Like, that's still a lot of replayability for, by the metric of most games. How about in the last season you do a competition between your drivers and let them race? That's the kind of thing I think is, like, how I see end game of save games playing out, right? Like, you have two drivers and you don't really pick a favourite. Would they ever add more teams to F1? Uh, I mean, there is talk about having an 11th team. But it seems more likely because of all the fees involved and some of the uh, hoops that have to be jumped through that, you know, a, a potential team like Andretti would just buy an existing team. But there's also licensing to contend with, right? Like, there's limitations on what they're ever going to be able to do in this game because it's an official licensed game. And yeah, I agree, Alan, say minimum. I think the ability to change teams, like, I don't... Of all the things that people complain about in this game... The fact that you can't change teams during a save game is genuinely puzzling to me. 
I can only assume there's some weird limitations in place technically that mean that it's more difficult than I imagine. But at the same time, I feel like that's something that people are going to want in the future. And so I hope it's not some kind of hard line they've drawn where it'll never be possible to do that because that would be so weird. Audi's meant to be joining in two seasons. I mean, they're joining as an engine supplier. They're not joining as an 11th team, though. There's a big difference there. And at the moment, Porsche aren't coming in. Porsche's deal with Ferrari, uh, Ferrari with Red Bull seems dead in the water. So unless Porsche can find a team to partner up with for the 2026 kind of crossover, I don't think we're going to see Porsche in the sport. Rumoured Honda stayed. I mean, Honda have left. Officially, right now, Honda are no longer in F1. It's Red Bull powertrains, which was originally Honda. Well, there is talk Honda might come back. Can you poach other... Uh, can other teams poach your drivers? I've not seen that happen either, Daniel. I have a feeling that can't happen. That's a note I think would be good to have happen. Uh, how's it going, Aussie Boy asks. It's going good. I'm tired today. I'm in one of these moods where, chat, I need sympathy. Whenever someone asks how I'm doing, I'm going to tell them, I feel tired. <laughs> Give me sympathy. Good job. Okay. Alonso is leading this race. Well, I think he's going to have to pit again and work his way through. The good news to him is that Leclerc, Verstappen and Perez are also going to be doing the two-stopper. Will I be going to the British Grand Prix next year? I was looking at tickets, but then I realised the prices are so expensive for Silverstone. It's literally cheaper to go to an abroad race. And I think I might just end up going to, like, Zanvor or Spa, to be honest. The price... Like, Silverstone, don't get me wrong, it'd be a, a, cre like, a really great experience to go next year. But the prices for what you get are kind of mad. Maybe, maybe I'm just stingy, chat. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'd enjoy a, a race abroad way more. Did I say Zanvor? Sorry, I meant Hungary. Hungary's a really cheap race to go to. I mean, Zan I actually think I'd prefer Zanvor to Silverstone as well. Is that controversial? Do I have to duck now? Like, Zanvoort seems like it has a lot more of a, like, like a, a festival atmosphere around it. Let's just keep doing what you're doing. So, uh, is Silverstone close enough where you'd go home every day? Or would I have to stay in camp? I'd have to stay in camp. Pass with an overtake. Yeah, Hungary's meant to be decent, and Hungary's meant to be, like, one of the cheaper races to go to. I find most European races boring. The only fun ones are Silverstone and Hungary, I feel. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like it's a bit... Monza's usually pretty good. I feel like Spa's had good races. The weird thing is, we've been through like an era in F1 over the last few years where there's always been kind of one dominant team. There's been not that many quote-unquote classic races where two cars are battled at the front all the way through, you know. I wanted to go to Miami, but tickets were five, uh, 750 plus US dollars. I was looking at some grandstand seats for uh, Silverstone. I think they were 500. I mean, the dream chat is to go to Singapore. Like, Singapore, I know that won't be everyone's list, but I would love to, like, go on holiday to Southeast Asia anyway. Like, it's an area of the world which I just... Like, architecturally, I think it's just wicked. And like, I feel like it's one of those things where if you were to go to that part of the world, you kind of tick off a few places at once. So kind of planning a trip around going to the Singapore Grand Prix and then just, you know, spending a week or two in that part of the world, traveling around would be pretty sick. It's Els. Thank you very much for some with the prime. Thank you for giving me some of Jeff Be Bezos's money. I went to Hungary this year, £175 for four days seated in Budapest, Budapest is cool. That's the thing, right? It's like Hungary for £175 or Silverstone for £500. 
Like for, I think it was two days I was looking at as well. I wrestled in the lead, oh my word. I'm not even pushing the drivers right now, I'm just chilling. You done a good job. I feel like the Alpine is the only car that is keeping up with us through the dirty air bits with our dirty air kind of focus on high speed cornering. I lost track stuff at Silverstone though that you wouldn't get over tracks. See, I don't know if that's even necessarily true. I feel like F1 as a whole and a lot more circuit like track uh, well, you know, circuit promoters are realising that you have to offer more than just the racing in general. I feel like more and more is happening, uh, like, around tracks just in general. Especially with a younger and younger audience coming into Formula One. Oh my word, I take it all back. Russell was in the lead. He might end up in fourth by the end of the lap. He needs clean air, chat! I know he needs clean air! I'm fine. No saving required. Copy. We need a prediction for how many times Russell says he needs clean air. Too many. Too many. We need a clean air counter on a, on a command, don't we? Maybe one of the mods could set it up, otherwise I'll try and remember to set it up later. Do you reckon Alonso's going to pit safe again? Fuel, if they're two-stopping, they got to pit fairly soon. Bouchard's still got the fastest lap, by the way. Oh, has he got the... I was hoping he got the animation on Verstappen where Verstappen gets bogged down, but he didn't get it. Alpine winning the British Grand Prix can't be allowed. True. I need to, I need to, you know, we can't let the French win the British Grand Prix. I need to stir the Britishness in me. Bloody hell. Right, Jack, awaken the Britishness. I don't have any kind of Union Jack flags or anything, I'm afraid to say. I'll just wear sunglasses over my glasses. How do I look? I look great. I look great. I can't see what's happening though. It's impractical. Uh, let's harvest with both drivers while we have people in front. Because I think Verstappen's going to pit soon. Maybe this lap. What lap did they pit before? They pitted like lap 15 or 16, I think, for the two stopper. They got medium hard. So they're going to go softs or mediums again. I expect people to pit in the next two or three laps. Alonso's tyres are at 64%. They're not terrible, but obviously they're not quite at Russell's level. Alonso, all my points are on you. Don't let me down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, if the 20 race in the current F1 season were 20 teams in the Premier League, who would be who? Oh, blimey. Um, hmm. Latifi would be Bournemouth. Sorry, Bournemouth fans. Uh, Mick. Hmm. I hope Mick would be Aston Villa. Verstappen's like Man City. And I feel like uh, Ham Hamilton's a, a Liverpool. Had it, had, you know, won it. Actually, I guess who's won it a few years in a row recently? In my head, I'm like, Manchester United, they've not won it in a long time consistently. Where have the years gone? Stroll has to be Newcastle, true. I think Leclerc's probably Tottenham because he's always bottling it.
Oh, Bashir lost a place, but it's okay, he's harvesting. I'm playing the long con. Signs is the only person who pitted around us at the same time. Ferrari, Verstappen, Leclerc, Perez and Alonso might pit again here. The believers are hoping we don't see them pit this lap. Because if they pit, I don't see a world in which they can catch. Are we going to see a car pit? Chat. Chat. That might be your channel points vanishing off to the right there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. I can't remember the words. Help me, chat. Ocon's not going to pit again, though. We've got to push. But shares him fourth. He is loving life. Do everything you can, mate. Probably. Everything's good. Yeah, take it easy. Why is my favourite game by the Cardigans the most underrated song of all time? I don't know, Ben. Why? I don't know if this is a question or are you setting up for a stupid joke, so I'll assume it's the latter. Save. Fuel. Alpine sabotaging Alonso. That was a safe bet. True. True. AI in the mud. I mean, AI Ocon might still win the race, chat. Perez is going to pit again, right? He has to. Mind you, Leclerc's come out 12 seconds behind. With 15 laps left. After the patch, I'd be more scared now than I am now. Maybe I should be more scared. So they put softs or mediums on? They put mediums on. Very good. Okay, Perez is pitted as well. It's weird how few teams t two stopped. By most of the AI teams, one stopped. So I, now, I would love to know why Red Bull and the Ferrari car and Alonso's car went for the two-stopper. Look at the fuel that... Look, I'm not taking any risks with the fuel, chat. I'm not taking any risks with the fuel. Chat, if the new patch changes and I have to play the game, I'm going to get mugged off for getting its changed for like a week. I've played like 100 hours of the AI playing a certain way, and now I feel like I know roughly what they're going to do. And when all the tyres change, I'm going to be panicking. I'm not going to be like, no, nah, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. And suddenly, they're going to come out pissing nowhere. Or charge, or charge. And I'm not going to enjoy it. Why did they favour Ocon's strategy? I mean, maybe they just thought that... Alonso's was quicker. This is why I was saying like earlier, I'd love to know what the AI was thinking and why it made the decisions it made. Chat, mix up the road. Oh, wait, no, that's Sonoda. Never mind. Yuki! Yuki! I don't want to show the sponsor, chat. You know the deal by now. Seems like two stops are almost always a bad idea if it's possible to one stop. I think depends on the track. There are some tracks where you can two stop and your pit stop doesn't like screw you like it did here. This is one of those ones where if the AI, if the middle of the pack cars had also two stopped, all the fast cars probably would have got a benefit. But because so many one stopped and ran their hard uh, their mediums longer at the start. It is not possible to pass on warm mediums versus fresh hards when they probably should be easier. And yeah, Archon's smoothness is really good, so that might be why the AI felt like he could make his tyres last longer. We need to lift off, lift off. I think Russell can win this race if we play it right. Our dirty air cornering means that we can make moves in traffic. 
The Alonso believers need a safety car right now to give Alonso a chance, I think. Because he and Leclerc are just not catching by enough a lap. Like, right now, you can see the hards are like a tenth quicker. If I had to say they're a tenth quicker, it's like three tenths. Well, once they nail the performance difference between the tyres, it will make situations like this way more interesting, I think. Ocon versus Russell for the race win. Welcome to season three. True. What a cursed timeline. Has there been a single spin or incident this race? I don't think there has been. Chat, has there been an incident this race? I feel like we've not seen anything. This is this might be a first. There's been no yellow flags at all 40 laps in. What is happening today? That is weird. That's almost weirder than the split strategies, to be honest. Tempting fate. Ah, uh, no. I have just... Chat, if, if anything happens, it wasn't my fault. I want that known now. If anything happens now, it was not my fault. Oh, Bashir just got past signs. My goat. My goat. Good job. So, signs and Ocon ran the same strategy as us. Leclerc, Alonso, Verstappen, Verstappen, uh, Perez and Verstappen didn't. It's a weird thing as well where, because the one-stopper and the two-stopper involve starting on the same tyre, you can't really know what everyone else is going to do. Use battery. Nah, nah, nah. We're just saving battery. We don't need to get past them now. We can just lurk behind. Or ahead in Pacher's case. In the update, will we have podiums with drivers who don't have faces? I doubt it, Jimmy. How would that work, Jimmy? The drivers don't have faces. Do you want them to do the podium with their hat on? Or their helmet on? Because I think that would look very derpy, I'll be honest. I think no podiums is better than a podium with the driver helmet on. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> I think this. I think a stick podium would look weird. FMS regen faces. If you think you could stick a football manager regen face in a 3D engine like this and it look okay, I've got some bad news. A few seasons in it, it's just three drivers stood there with helmets on. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think that is much of a compromise, I'll be honest. I think it looked kind of stupid when everyone's wearing a helmet by the end of, like, the 10th season. Ferrari, advance the race position. Three gens even have game faces? I have no idea. Has anyone even tested that? Has anyone got a regen that they've signed and put in the engine and then, like, got a podium or anything with? Oh, they have a helmet on. Ruined. Russell's a header. You know what, George? Have a push. Use energy. Have a push through this next sec sector. It's a little while to the next DRS zone. You got a better run out the corner. Push, 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 push. You've charged your battery. Break the DRS. Go. You know how FM23 is £35, uh, 32 pounds and five pence of your code. Sorry to break it to you, but you have 32 pounds and four pence. In that case, even, you need a one penny overdraft. You'll be fine. Stick generic faces on drivers and let's have some podium celebrations. Thing is, you have to rig them and animate them. The generic faces. Don't get me wrong, I, I talked about this on stream before. Like a lot of sports games, right? When they don't have a face scan, they still do like the generic faces. Which don't really look like the drivers. I'd kind of be okay with that. But are we in a world now where people aren't happy just to see generic faces? Streaming tomorrow. Yeah, I think we will be streaming tomorrow, chat. I think I'm going to be starting earlier tomorrow. 
I've not really looked into how the, the football schedule for this weekend. It's weird, right? Obviously, newer viewers probably don't know this, but I usually have to plan my streams around football. So the evening game tomorrow is West Ham v Wolves at 5 o'clock. I reckon we'll be live around 7pm UK time tomorrow, chat. So whatever time it is for you now, take 4 hours and 42 minutes off it. That's when I'll be live. Make all the faces be mixed. Someone should mod that. Replace the helmet with just mixed face for the cutscenes. Oh, wait. Ignore chat. Ignore. I was looking at the wrong week. I was looking at the wrong game week for football. Yeah, it is Spurs Leicester. We'll still be live at 7, I think. We'll still be live at 7. Sorry, chat. I went on the FPL website to check the time of football games. And it had already gone to game week 9. Don't tell me you're an iron supporter. No. No. Don't worry. It's worse. Hey, okay, Russell has dropped Ocon by pushing, but I do not have battery now to defend if he catches us. I'm tempted to tell Teo to push through this DRS zone and do the exact same thing. 11 seconds off so, so, uh, Russell and Ocon, though. That... Alpine is fast. Uh, what is your pit crew ranking now? I know there's an achievement to get your pit crew all to 100. Not near that. Not near that. Uh, drivers can uh, retire, Velho. Drivers can retire. And then you get regens come through. Jack is secretly French. We. Oui. Uh, I assume staff retire, but I don't actually know that for certain. Je suis Francais. We. Oui. Tu voudrais moi parler en Francais pour toi? D'accord, c'est bon. I don't speak French, chat. I just strung together words. But did it sound good? Maybe. Probably not. I'm just preparing, you know, for when Alpine hire me for real and I have to speak in French all the time. Because that's how it works. Pacher has not broken DRS on signs. He still might, but I can't use up the rest of the battery. Actually, he has broken it. Did, did signs get blocked? He must have got blocked by the lap car there. Tao, push. Push, 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 push. push. Or push, or push. I wish I could record voice lines and put them in the game so that when, <laughs> when they go to push, I'm there going push, 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 push. Workless space. Yeah, exactly, chat. I have to freeze it. Seasons, you can get your car competitive by the looks of it. You think the game should be hard or is it just fine? I think you can make the game as hard as you want it to be, Velho. Um, the game could be harder for sure. That I think the patch that's coming out next week will make it more difficult. Obviously, we're in a timeline here where we're fighting Alpine at the front. For an English person, it sounds fair. I'll take it. Uh, you know what? That's the highest compliment I can receive. Seven laps left. Both our cars have managed to break DRS. Chat, I think we're chilling. Although there's Yuki to catch up. Yuki, if you get in the way, son, there is going to be a strange face in heaven waiting for you at the gates. And it's not going to be your loved ones. It's going to be me. I'm going to have a massive, I don't know, a, ma a massive rock to throw at you like pebbles. Are we even catching him? We aren't catching him. Will he get out of the way? Please get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Why isn't Russell doing his job as a number two driver and holding up Ocon? I mean, 10 seconds to make up in five laps is not happening, sadly. We're not even catching Sonoda here. This is embarrassing. Mick's been lap chat by signs in fourth. 
I just realised Mick but Mick's in last chat. I'm sorry to the Mick fans out there. I know you exist. Okay, Yuki, I need you to block Carlos signs, please. If you don't mind. Uh, do you have tips for beginners? I didn't buy the game yet. Is there anything you wish you knew when you first started playing? Thanks again for the help. Um, things I wish I knew before I started. The performance difference between tyres, at least in this patch, isn't that severe. So if you can make hards and mediums work, they're usually a better race tyre. And also, researching is very important. If you don't research, like, after the first half of the se season, you will, your car will be slow next year. Like, very slow. So make sure you do research. And the last bit of tip, tip I'll give to anyone watching right now is maybe, maybe you've not bought the game yet. Maybe you decided £45 was too much on Steam. Understandable. Well, let me tell you about a deal I've got for you folks. You can click the link below the stream. You can go to uh, Fanatical and you can use the code that is below the stream. You can see it. Copy and paste that. Go to, add the game to your, che your checkout for £40. Then reapply the code. I can't remember the code. Chat, what's the code? Chat, write the code in the chat. I can't remember the code. Hashtag ad, by the way. Um, but you can get the game for £36 versus the £45 it is on Steam. I get a kickback off it. You get the game for about 19% cheaper than it is on Steam. Everyone's a winner. Except Williams. They, they, they're, they're just a loser in every save game. The code is F1WTS10. F1WTS10. Go to Fanatical. Add the game to your checkout. It's £40 on Fanatical anyway. With the discount code F1WTS10, you get another 10% off to get it for £36. Or, or your regional equivalent. I, I I could lie here and say it's the best price for the game on the internet. I don't know for such certain it is. But Fanatical are an approved retailer. You're not getting it for a dodgy key reseller. It is straight from Frontier as a publisher. And it, it's straightforward. Hey, Jack, I've noticed this. You can choose the tie you start the race on. I thought you had to use the tie you set on Qualion. Uh, not anymore, uh, DJ. It used to be whatever tie you qualified out of Q2 with, if you finished in the top 10 of qualifying, you had to use. But that rule was changed this year in real life. So now you have free tire choice. Would you like a future game mode to manage classic historical races? I mean, okay, so people have been asking about longevity for this game, right? I've seen people talking about this, and I saw people mentioning the fact that, like, you know, legends. Yeah, you, know you have legends in the Cody's F1 game chat. Imagine, and I don't know how possible this is, because you might have to negotiate image rights with drivers, like, through history. Imagine if halfway through the year they dropped a DLC for this game where for £5 you could do, like, the 2005 season, or the Braun first season with the double diffuser. First and last season. Like, you could have historical seasons that you can use as a starting point. And you could maybe have it so instead of regens coming through, real drivers enter F2 and F3 at the point they did in real life. Now that, that's a million pound idea. Frontier, if you're watching, I'll take commission. Definitely won't have any licensing issues, I promise you. And you can have that one for free. You could do some very cool historical seasons. Now, yeah, it might be issues with the tracks and stuff. Games player have a key for FM23. And if you use the FM Scout code, you can get it for £33. So that is true, Kamara. Or you could support me for £1 more. That's definitely the better option. Two to go. Pacher's flying. I have a code question mark. It's below the stream. I feel like you know the codes there. But yes, I do have a code. If you want to pick up FM23 for £34 and support the stream below the stream, check it out. And the code is w uh, FM23WTS. There you go. FM23WTS. Push Tao. There is no point in pushing Tao. He'll just make a mistake. Oh, 
Pachero has only been caught a little bit because of the Williams, which is still in the way. Please get out the way. Please get out the way. I hate everything. I hate everything. What are you doing, Yuki son? What are you doing? You know what he is, chat. You know what he is. Clown. Got a clown in my rear view mirror. Can I make the... Uh, look at this tracking, chat. This is why I've got a 2KD in Warzone. To be honest, it's very difficult to track. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing behind me? Last lap. This is very serious business, chat. This is more important than the actual race. Now he's been blue flagged. Now the Ferrari's right behind me. Get rid of the clown. I need to focus. All right, Teo, you, you are allowed to push this lap. Push. Russell's still ahead. Everything's fine. No saving required. Oh, saving required. Oh, we chat. He's behind us. He's got DRS. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, chat. Alonso's in sixth. Where are the believers? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid, Quinn, if you are just tuning in now, chat, you are not joining at the best time tonight because it is a shorter stream today. I'm a very tired boy. This is a this is definitely a one and done day. There's lower energy today. Jack, I'm waiting for the baseball to start. Are you starting streaming late? I'm sorry, Mr. Jolly. I'm sorry. I've just broken your heart. Signs might catch us here on this last lap. Don't do it to me. I have no battery. Oh no. Teo. Teo. Te no, 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 Don't take the, don't take it. Don't take the podium. Teo, fight. Fight and win, Teo. My goat. Russell wins it. First over the line. Push, 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 push. Teo. Teo Pusher. What a man. Almost the line. What a bloke. What a bloke. Get the flute. We don't get the podium. We don't get the podium, but it doesn't matter. Where's the hat? Did we, was there even a yellow flag that race? That might be the first race in F1 manager history without any kind of yellow flag. Not even Mick locked up. Oh, oh. Jack, I know this is probably a very stupid and an obvious question, but are you streaming on Monday? I am not live this Monday. I am uh, hanging out with some friends and playing Mario Party. That is every bit as cool as it sounds, I'm fully aware. But uh, on Monday, I'm going to be a sociable human being and commemorate the Queen's death respectfully by playing Mario Kart Party and getting drunk. I know, I know. Well, wait, it's how it's how that Lizzie would have wanted me to spend my time. Um, but we will be live tomorrow, and I will be live on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow, I will be live at 7 p.m. UK time. So get here, whatever time it's for you now. Five hours off it. Be here in 19 hours, essentially. That's the plan, right, chat? Can you all do that? No one has anything to do on a Saturday. No one does anything on Saturday. Well, I play as Yossi. Yoshi, of course. Oh, chat the flute. The flute. Where's my bottle? The team ends in first place with the constructor standing. Next time, the team will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Syrian forest. The Austrian Grand Prix. Come on! Come on! That's enough, isn't it? That's enough. My ears. My ears. Pachere's in third in the Drivers' Championship. Who said I should flush the poo? Who's been writing flush the poo in the chat? More like flush you. He's finished every race. He's finished every race. He's the only driver in the top five to finish every race. My goat. 
Of course, George Russell finished the race because he is an incompetent driver and no other reason. Oh, development points. Development points. Chat, what are we putting the point in? I've not thought this far. Ahead. What are we putting the point in? Oh, new underfloors, mate. It's all going good, right? Get the hat off. I feel like such a knobhead wearing that hat. Cornering? I think cornering, right? Ignore racecraft. We need him to quali better. I think I'm thinking cornering. I mean, we get cornering to 80, then we get reactions to 80. Am I the only person who, like, you could, you know, you could work through these logically together to get them both to 80 at the same time. I'm the kind of person, I'll level one thing to 80, then the other thing goes to 82. Is that just me? I feel like everyone has their own kind of, not superstitions, but their own way of doing stuff, right? Oh, look at that. We're bloody massive. Where? Are, well, I want to check Alpine's car. Chat, where do you reckon Alpine's car is in stuff? Because they were ridiculous. Oh. Sorry. So. What have they, like, what have they, how have they done that? How have they done that? Admin? And They are like, they are probably better than both Red Bull and Ferrari on the whole. Admin? That's wild. And then you compare them to us. I mean, that makes me feel sad. That makes me feel sad. They lack top speed, someone says. I'll tell you what, if they lack top speed, what do we lack? I just feel sad. How have they managed? How are they so good? They must be using the sliders, chat. They're playing dirty. No way they're playing clean. Or oh, important email. Oh, it's just race prep. Never mind. Right, chat, we're going to leave Austria for tomorrow. Oh, it's a wet race. Nah, not doing that tonight. I'm not, I'm not, do, I'm not doing that. That is tomorrow's problem. I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Wet, wet Austria. Not again. Save the game. Get me out of here. Right, chat, we are going to raid over to someone. I appreciate the fact not as late as you guys are accustomed to seeing me live. But to be honest, after a week of streaming until 2 a.m., I'm kind of relishing a slightly earlier night sleep. And also... I, I'd like to chill out today. I've had a pretty chill, uh, busy day of just doing a load of stuff. Everyone's saying do one more race. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But we're going to raid on and show some love, chat. We're going to raid on and show some love. We're going to raid over to Ben as well. Let's get the raid going, chat. What do we go in with here? We need, we need a copy pasta. We need a copy pasta in... For this chat, make sure to follow Ben as well. You got, I feel like most of you guys will know Ben if you're an F1 fan. If you're not an F1 fan, he does a load of really good stuff over on YouTube. Uh, five stars FM, mate. Thank you so much for the resub. 28 months. You're coming at a bad time because we're about to raid over. Chat, let's go with the Who is Magnuson copy pasta. Let's go. In fact, no, let's go with the Mick one. Let's go with the Mick copy pasta. Get get your Mick copy pasta ready, chat. Get it copied and pasted. I want a little warm up in our chat now before we raid on over. Go on, get it get get it out of your system now. Look at this. I are, are you ready to raid on over? Chat, I appreciate you hanging out. I will be back live tomorrow 7 p.m. Earlier start time. We'll do free races. I hope you're excited for it. It should be a good time. I'm going to chill out and enjoy what's left of my I was going to say my Friday. It's now Saturday morning because it's midnight. Um, but I appreciate you guys chilling with me, vibing with me. We'll be back with more tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy. Let's go and have a good raid, shall we?